Hi everyone, welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep, the most comprehensive uh, uh, preparation platform for your GATE ESE, specifically Civil, Mechanical and EXE YouTube channel. Per. So how are you all? Please verify if my audio and video is uh, visible and uh, audible to all of you. And then we'll begin this session. This is the second part of transportation engineering that we have started, I think, yesterday. Yesterday was the first part. We discussed 15 questions in the class and 15 questions I gave you as assignment. Today, I'm here with another 15 questions in the class and 15 questions as assignment. So please tell me in the comment box, how are you all? And uh, are you all ready for today's class? Uh, it would be a great thing if you can share this video with your friends. Let everybody join. Let everyone know that we are live and let everybody join this session to learn from these questions which I have got from the second half of highway engineering, airport and railway engineering. Let's see who all are with me. First of all, uh, Prashant, hi, how are you? Welcome, Revati, Swapnil, Shreyas. Shreyas is here. Welcome, guys. Swagat hai aap ka. So, we'll be beginning with the session. I'll start with a quick introduction. You can just hit the like button. I'll uh, see. Uh, so, I'll, I'll begin with the introduction, a quick introduction. My name is Joshit Singh. I have four years of teaching experience now. I'm MTech from IIT Roorkee, specifically in hydraulic engineering. Rest, you know. Uh, Maha Marathon, let me tell you and also remind you about the Maha Marathon. If you are worried about the revision of the entire syllabus of your branch, even if you are from civil or maybe you are from mechanical, then Maha Marathon is going to start from 3rd of January. And 3rd of January, you are going to get, beyond 3rd of January, you are going to get non-stop 8 hours Maha Marathon, it is 8 hours like uh, you can say after giving breaks and everything, it will be 8 hours. But yes, what we are uh, giving you is all subjects. We will be giving you the revision of all the subjects, each and every concept. No concept is going to be left. Okay, so that's from my side. So it is my humble request to please share the video. I want to share it with me. Last time, I am saying, I won't say after this. Iske baad hum seedha lag jayenge apne questions pe. We'll focus on the question. That's it. I have shared the video, I think, in my group. Right? It's your time. Okay. Schedule will be soon uh, released. On 3rd of Jan, we'll be releasing the schedule. Uh, one thing I'm, uh, I can assure you is, every subject you will see in that schedule. Okay? Alright. Just quickly share the video. And then we'll start. As I have told you, yesterday we focused on geometric design and uh, traffic engineering. Today we are going to focus on highway material and pavement design, rate, uh, airport and railway. These are the area of uh, concentration you can say for today's class. So the very first question here from uh, highway material is this. Please try to answer this question now. Everybody, dost mein achha hu, aap kaise? Bas mein thoda thanda hu. I don't know about you. It's too cold here. The theoretical and mass density of bituminous mix are given as 2.445 and 2.385. What else is given? Uh, the bitumen, the percentage A of bitumen in the mix is 10.32%. Calculate the percentage voids in mineral aggregate. So what you need is the value of VMA. This is the required thing. Now, what is VMA? It is how much percentage of volume of voids with airs plus with bitumen. The summation of these two is the answer of VMA. So, if you see this question closely, you will notice VB is already given to you and it is given to you as 10.32%. But you need to get VA also, VA percent, percentage of air voids. How you can get that? For that, I think uh, another information is given as theoretical specific gravity as 2.445. And apart from this, the mass specific gravity, apparent specific gravity is given as 2.385. Based on this information, you can get the value of percentage air voids as GT minus GM by GT into 100. This will give you the value of air void percentage. So air void percent will be how much? It will be 2.445 minus 2.385 divided by 2.445 into 100. Can anyone quickly tell me the value of this expression? Comment box make do. 
वट इज दैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो अपने लास्ट गिवेन दी फर्स्ट आंसर सुपर्ब इट्स टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसेंट एज पर माई कैलकुलेशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट योर टाइम इन द कैलकुलेशन आई जस्ट टेल यू द एक्सप्रेशन सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन गेट द वैल्यू एज फॉर्म इट इज टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव प्लस टेन पॉइंट थ्री टू सो इट इज वेरी मच विजिबल इट मस्ट बी ट्वेल्व ऑप्शन ए ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन सेवन परसेंटेज गॉट any of these expressions you can quickly ask me right i'll move to the next question but agar koi doubt ho pooch lijiyega beech mein next question is this try to answer this n80 the volume of coarse aggregate fine aggregate filler and bitumen in a bituminous mix is 321.2 3475.4 3132.45 and 100.25 uh, cm3 rishab good evening how are you respectively if the total volume of the mix is 1075 cm cube the percentage voids filled with bitumen so vfb they are asking percentage voids filled with bitumen that is percentage of your bitumen divided by your percentage of bitumen plus percentage of air voids that also called as vma this is also called as vma the denominator is also called as vma before this question i have solved a question where we have discussed vma so we have to get these values percentage vb and percentage va if you can find them then you can get the answer so let's uh, start with this everybody first of all let's try to find out the percentage volume percentage bitumen by volume obviously so what is the volume of bitumen right now uh, it is i think 100.25 got it so percentage will be how much 100.25 by total total volume is 1075 i guess yeah so this will give us this value can anyone tell me the expression uh, how much it is arun prashant swapnil shias ganesh 0.09 is it or i would say 9.32% theek hai mere paas dekho sare solutions hain main sirf calculation main aapka time waste nahi karunga कॉन्सेप्ट जितना हो सकेगा उतना ज्यादा हम फोकस करेंगे आकाश हाउ यू वेलकम नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ वॉइड एज वेल सो फॉर दैट वी नीड वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर वॉइड विल बी हाउ मच टोटल वॉल्यूम दैट इज वन जीरो सेवन फाइव माइनस द एंटायर थिंग यू हैव टू टेक विच इज कोर्स अग्रीगेट वॉल्यूम थ्री ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट टू थ्री प्लस दिस इज फिलर आई गेस राइट फाइन अग्रीगेट फोर सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फोर थ्री and then we have filler as 132.45 plus the remaining which is bitumen 100.25 now out of this if you remove this thing from your total volume then obviously you are going to get the volume of air voids so the volume of air voids from here will be i'll i'll, I'll tell you don't waste your time 45.64 so 45.64 Four is centimeter cube is your volume of air voids. From here you can get the percentage air voids, and that will be forty five point six four by one zero seven five into hundred. Can you even tell me this expression answer? Solution of this expression. Who is going to tell me? Forty five point sixty four by one zero seven five. That should be somewhere around four point two five percent. so both the things you have got let's get the values these questions are just warm up i'm telling you after this you are going to get lot of uh, beautiful uh, questions new questions which may come in your examination okay if not directly then similar to those something can come in your exam so let's put all the values together 9.32 divided by 9.32 plus 4.25 how much it is in 200 so this value will be up to two decimal how much very good prashant 68.68% is the right answer for vfb volume filled with bitumen 68.68% is the right answer to this question always put the value in percentage these are in percentage vma vfb they are in percentage next question the flexible plate load test conducted with 30 cm dia plate on soil subgrade yielded deflection of 0.25 cm under a stress of 600 kg per cm square the modulus of elasticity of subgrade soil 
in kg per centimeter square will be how much flexible plate the desk has conducted 30 centimeter dia plate utilized deflection 0.25 centimeter and the stress that we have got is 600 kg per centimeter square what they need is the modulus of elasticity of the subgrade everybody quickly this is something which is very common and it may come in the examination these are one of the most important concepts of highway engineering and especially pavement design keep hitting the like button okay so we need modulus of elasticity over here right 1.18 pa by delta i think everything uh, is given to you this is the radius of your plate which is 30 centimeter dia is given so it will be 15 put the values here 1.18 into how much is the pressure given to you 600 into 15 it will be how much 15 centimeter it can't be 30 30 is diameter okay so you have to take 15 over here and everything is in centimeter so deflection you have to consider in centimeter only how much is the value for this question a b c d manjeet said a rishav said b do answer dono alag anyone for c also koi c ke liye bhi hai to bata do ye aa jayega 42480 to solve karoge isko option b is the right answer okay manjeet ek bar please check kariyega just check your calculation if there is some error okay and still if you don't get it please ask me moving on to the fourth question of the day a bituminous mix having maximum theoretical specific gravity of 2.5 the bitumen content is 7% by weight of the mix and its specific gravity is 1 yeah 1 only the specific gravity of the combined aggregate is how much this is one of the good questions please sir tell me everybody bituminous mix having maximum theoretical specific gravity is given to you as 2.5 so the specific gravity is given 2.5 and uh, bitumen content i think given by weight so wb is given 7 percent what else specific gravity of bitumen is given one and specific gravity of aggregates they are asking combined means for all for all they want so quick answer yes so of 15 question this is the fourth question of the day more more are coming sir as you know uh, the expression where we can say that the total volume will be what volume of bitumen plus the volume of the aggregates right we don't consider the volume of air voids when we are saying theoretical specific gravity theoretical is itself means that you are not considering the value of whatever the volume of voids you are having you just ignore it right but that is theoretical concept it can't happen practically you can you can take the example of soil you apply as much as load you can right as much as compressive uh, compressed you can do the soil but as soon as you will remove the load again some air voids will come right so that is why so here it is going to be let's say uh, seven percent is the one so total is 100 percent right 100 by g t equals uh this is uh, how much seven percent seven percent by g b plus remaining 93 percent is your g a that is the required value please go for it and solve this 100 by 2.5 equals 7 by 1 plus 73 by g a when you solve this the value of g a is how much uh no sir actually in last question diameter is 30 we take 50 because this is radius of contact area na, beta? radius later na, this is diameter given to you 30 centimeter dia you have to take the radius over here that's why 15 yes sir how many of you got the answer from here the value of g a aggregate ka specific gravity is it 2.82 it should be 2.82 please verify once and let me know option c is definitely right for this question very good prashant okay moving on to the next question the fifth question of the day after that 10 more questions to come 
नेक्स्ट ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन अ बिटुमिन मिक्स हैविंग फोर परसेंट बिटुमिन बाय वॉल्यूम हैज बल्क स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी 2.4 स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ कंबाइंड एग्रीगेट इज 2.78 एंड दे मेक 92 परसेंट uh, 92 परसेंट ऑफ द मिक्स बाय वेट फाइंड द परसेंटेज वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर वॉइड्स चलो भाई फटाफट तो यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ अ बिटोमिन मिक्स हैविंग फोर परसेंट बिटोमिन बाय वॉल्यूम सो लेट्स टेक टोटल वॉल्यूम एज वी राइट टोटल वॉल्यूम एज वी सो हाउ मच इज द टोटल वॉल्यूम कैन यू फाइंड दैट टोटल वॉल्यूम जी ए इज हा स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ द कंबाइंड एग्रीगेट इन विच यू हैव कोर्स Fine and filler also you consider. How to get total here? Because you have the bulk specific gravity, right? A bituminous mix has bulk specific gravity as two point four, right? If you consider that uh, the mix of the weight, let's take mix of the weight as thousand kg. Okay, thousand kilo, man lo. Okay, so your total volume will be here. That is going to be how much? Thousand. Divided by thousand into two point four. What is this? Can you please tell me? It should be point four one six six. ठीक है बहुत अच्छी बात है. This is what we have got. Now volume of the aggregate because I have the combined aggregate also thousand. into how much 2.78 i guess so what is this volume of the aggregate combined aggregate anyone give me the value 1 by just simply do that 2.78 it's 0.3597 or just write 0.359 chalo you have got the total volume you have got the volume of what the combined aggregate now you know that Total volume will be equals to what? Uh, volume of the aggregate, volume of the bitumen, and volume of the void that you need. How much is the volume of bitumen? Four percent. Four percent by volume means point zero four. So point zero four V is the volume of bitumen plus volume of combined aggregate plus volume of air voids. Ah, uh, same symbol. Chalo, voids ke naam se likhte hain isko. So how much it is going to be? Point nine six. If you take it here, point nine six into volume is point four one six six equals. You are having this as point three five nine plus VV. From here, the value of VV you must be getting as zero point zero four. What do you need? You need percentage. How to get the value if you have this percentage? I don't think so. It is a very big deal. So V B percent will be point zero four by point four one six six into hundred, and the answer is A. Is it A? Let me check. Nine point six. Option B is the right answer. Nine point six is the right answer. Minaj, you must have made a mistake. So, open you too. Prashant, uh, correct. Say yeah, yar. Your preparation is good. I mean, touch wood for this uh, at least. Highway engineering, I can say. Sure, then you can check the solution. Uh, we'll move to the next question. So, next question is this. Let's see what they are saying. A plate load test was conducted under a rigid plate of diameter 30 cm modulus of subgrade reaction of soil is 5.25 kg per cm cube the pressure sustained by soil at 0.125 cm settlement value in kg per cm square is how much so quickly please tell me the value pressure sustained by soil
प्लीज सर गो फॉर इट यू हैव द रिफ्लेक्शन राइट सो मॉडल ऑफ रिएक्शन सबग्रेड रिएक्शन इन टू पॉइंट वन टू फाइव दैट्स वॉट यू नीड टू डू डू यू हैव द वैल्यू हेयर फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव इज गिवेन के इज फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव कैन आई गो फॉर फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव मोर पीपल आर वॉचिंग लेस आर द लाइक्स मीन्स यू आर यू आर नॉट लाइकिंग द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन कैसे है वैसे बताओ पहले ये कर लेंगे फिर ठीक है कुछ सीख रहे हो सीख लो यार वो जरूरी है ठीक है अरे यूनिट वेट बराबर वेट अपन वॉल्यूम करते हैं वो किया यार उसमें क्या है हाँ जी सर तो कैन वी गो फॉर दिस मॉडल ऑफ ग्रेट रिएक्शन विच इज गिवेन बताइए प्लीज टेल मी एवरी वन ऋषभ अरुण स्वप्निल प्रशांत मिनाज गणेश एवरीबडी हु इज गिविंग दी आंसर एंड हु इज वॉचिंग राइट नाउ मे बी इन रिकॉर्डिंग कैन आई गो फॉर दिस के एक्चुअली नो Why not? Uh, because actually I have used 30 centimeter plate, which is not standard plate, right? This is not a standard plate. 75 centimeter is the standard plate, so I need to get the value here. So K1 delta 1 equals to K2 delta 2 or D2, whatever you like to write. So here we have uh, we want K1, right? Right for what? For how much 75 cm plate i want so how much is the value can you please tell me model of subgrade reaction so it will be i think k2 let's take this 5.25 30 by 75 how much is this value can you help me this uh, expression 2 is it hmm Two point one, right? Good. Two point one. Take this value here. Get that? Multiply it. Do this. Point one two five, and you will be getting it as point two six two five. Zero. Set everybody. राइट लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी ए परसेंट वॉल्यूम वी ए आस्ट हाँ तो वही तो निकालो मैं वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर वॉइड दे हैव आस्ट अरे डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज हियर बेसिकली आई हैव इसको ए जी लिख देता हूं खुश दिस इज फॉर अग्रीगेट अग्रीगेट एयरवाइड्स 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 ठीक है भी डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज इन दिस सिंबल्स राइट बेसिकली आई कंसीडर्ड वी ए एज द कंबाइंड एग्रीगेट वॉल्यूम बट नाउ आई हैव करेक्टेड इट राइट सो वेन यू रिवाइज यू विल नॉट हैव डाउट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके अनदर ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन डिटरमाइन द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ कंबाइंड अग्रीगेट इन अटुमिनस मिक्स हैविंग मैक्सिम थियोरिटिकल स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी एज टू पॉइंट फोर Bitumen content eight percent, and its specific gravity is given to you as one only. So uh, everything is given to you like uh, theoretical specific gravity as two point four given, and uh, G B is given as one, and W B is given to you as how much eight percent. What do you need? Specific gravity of combined aggregate. I think this is similar question to that. You can do this. Chalo, bata do for da for se. Raghav, are you having doubt in this K1 uh, delta one thing? You can ask. Uh, guys, tell me this question. I think just now I have done something like this already in front of you, so you can tell me the answer. Okay, I've got my answer. What's yours? Yes, good. Two point three two seven three two. 
similarly we have to do this right earlier we have done the same question uh, 100 by 2.4 equals 8 by 1 plus 92 by ga solve it and get the answer next question good question tell me this question now uh, if the spacing between contraction joint of uh, for a 3.5 meter slab width having thickness of 28 centimeter is 28.375 meter assume 10 mm and uh, bar at spacing of 0.3 meter okay per uh, permissible tensile stress in steel is 2400 kg per uh, centimeter square unit weight of concrete is 2400 kg per meter cube coefficient of friction is how much please sir answer it's a good question i would say you have to actually equate if you remember the weight of slab into friction for uh, your force of uh, coefficient of friction should be equals to the permissible force which is stress into the area of the steel right so what is the weight of the slab weight of the slab will be how much everyone can you please tell me weight of the slab will be gamma of concrete right b into h thickness l by 2 because half tie bar will be inside this slab and half will be on that side should be equals to permissible stress into area of steel this is what i need i i, I want the value of f over here this is the weight so into the four uh, coefficient of friction this f is required over here but for this you will be requiring uh, first of all area of steel how to get the area of steel you have the dia given to you so can you please find out and also you have total spacing if the spacing between the contraction joint for 3.5 meter so 3.5 meter is the value of h given to you basically you can say b right so from there we need to get the value of area of steel quickly please total area so 3.5 divided by 0.3 meter will give you number of steel and uh, 10 mm if you just multiply uh, 10 mm i mean the area corresponding to 10 mm dia it will be what area of steel will be uh, 3.5 divided by 0.3 no issues with the units now number of steel so now what is the area of one steel pi by 4 d square now the area will come in mm and this mm value is 916.30 mm square or in short 9.163 centimeter square right put the values get the answer i think i have done enough please sir quickly what do we need l is given yes length is given what else thickness is given yes thickness is given f i need sigma st given ast found out only one thing is left sopnil beta kabhi itna aa sakta hai coefficient of friction khud socho is it even possible? I'll, for, I'll, I'll find a true Joe. 2400 into 9.163 into 10 raised to the power. So divided by how much it is? 3.5 into 28 into 2400 to 2. I am getting it as 0 0.659. Very good, Ganesh. That's the coefficient of friction. Uh, sir, wo AST, achha. 
सॉरी यार हाँ ये एस टी था सही है ग्रेट आशीष हाय हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग भाई हो गया भाई इतनी इतनी कितनी बार हेलो बोलोगे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द रेडियस ऑफ रिलेटिव स्टिफनेस ऑफ अ पेवमेंट ऑफ थिकनेस ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर हैविंग पॉइजन रेशियो एज पॉइंट वन फाइव एंड मॉडल ऑफ इलासिटी एज थ्री इंटू टेन रेशियो पर फाइव इफ इट इज गिवेन दैट द लोड रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सेटलमेंट ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू फाइव एम एम इज पॉइंट सेवन फाइव के जी पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर प्लीज आंसर ले भाई गलत है तो एवरी वन क्विकली आंसर वट इज द रेडियस ऑफ रिलेटिव स्टिफनेस इफ यू रिमेंबर द फॉर्मुला फॉर रेडियस ऑफ रिलेटिव स्टिफनेस दैट यूज टू बी लेट्स रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई एल ओनली ई एच क्यूब बाई ट्वेल्व के One minus mu square, and the one thing which I always used to forget when I was preparing, power one by four. ये भूल जाता था मैं पहले. बताओ. You need to get the k value, ना first. K will be how much? Point seven five six. है ना? K will be six. Zero point seven five divided by point one two five centimeter six kg per centimeter cube. Values put career. Tell me. <laughs> मैसेज डिलीट मत किया करो देखो इवन इफ यू हैव सेट द रॉन्ग आंसर इट्स ओके गलतियां नहीं छुपाते सुधारते हैं ओके सो एल इज इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच ई इज थ्री इंटू टेन रिश्ते पावर फाइव एच हाउ मच इज द एच वैल्यू थिकनेस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर गिवेन टू यू ट्वेंटी फाइव क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व इंटू सिक्स वन माइनस पॉइजन रेशियो इज पॉइंट वन फाइव पावर वन बाय फोर सो एल इज इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच कैन यू फाइंड इट नाइंटी पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके दैट्स योर फाइनल आंसर गॉर इट तो इफ यू आर राइडिंग नाइंटी पॉइंट थ्री थ्री देन ऑब्वियसली योर आंसर इज रॉन्ग Uh, because they are asking in meter so we need to convert this right 0.9 meter is the answer so if uh, obviously this question is n80 if this would have been a question of mcq then then also you, it, it it you may have marked the wrong option if in the option it was given as 0.90 and 90.33 uh, to bhi galat ho sakta tha right thoda dekh liya karo bas even if doing lot of things you if you if you make mistake then that's very you know bad next question calculate the equivalent static wheel load for dual wheel assembly carrying 4100 kg each at the bottom of slab 220 mm thick center to center spacing between two tire is 32 uh, 320 mm and clear gap between the tire is 100 mm okay got it P is given to you as forty one hundred kg. So two P will be forty. Uh, I mean eighty two hundred kg. Uh, first of all, please check this value. If it is less than d by two, is it less than d by two? Because if it is less than d by two, then I directly have the answer. And I mean options are not very good. <laughs> They should have to keep the forty one hundred. तो डी बाई टू विल बी हाउ मच इट इज बी फिफ्टी एम एम आई गेस राइट फिफ्टी एम एम से तो ज्यादा ही है तो आंसर विल नॉट बी फोर्टी वन हंड्रेड के जी 
and is it uh, greater than the value of I think 2s? No. So, this is in between. If this is in somewhere between d by 2 and 2s, we need to go for the interpolation. Let's go for it. Where do write? Here I write. Yeah. So, log base 10. Two p minus log base ten p divided by log base ten two s minus log base ten d by two equals log base ten the one that you need. Minus log base ten p divided by log base ten. Ah, uh, this value z minus log base ten d by two. Put the value, get the answer. How much it is? Here I'll put the values. P is forty one hundred kg. Two p is eighty two hundred kg. 2s 640 yes and d by 2 50 z 220 mm so guys when you solve this the value of the load should be 6139.97 Okay, without wasting any time, that's what you should get. All right. Okay, moving on. Next question: Ten centimeter bituminous concrete having cohesion meter value as sixty is equivalent to seven centimeter of cement treated base. The cohesion meter value of cement treated base will be how much? Answer. 10 centimeter bituminous concrete having cohesion meter value as 60 is equal to 7 centimeter of cement treated base. The cohesion meter value of cement treated base will be how much? The concept which generally you skip, the concept that has high, highly likely to come because we generally skip, the concept which has been not been asked from a long time. That's why there is a reason why it can come in the exam this time. Higher the probability. Please answer quickly, everyone. I skipped it. <laughs> that day also you said you should have studied this. Right. So the relationship between the thickness and the cohesion meter value, uh, if you remember from uh, CRV, California Resisting Value uh, Method, from there, you can get it. T1 by T2, C2 by C1, power 1 by 5. That's the relationship. The value of C2 will be how much? T1 by T2. C1 power 1 by 5. Get the value of C2 quickly. T1 by T2 power 5 into C1. Thickness you can take how much? 10 by 7. And cohesion meter value is 60. So how, how much is the value? Can anyone tell me? Kitna rahe? Power 5. So it is 10 by 7 power 5 to 60. 350, 6.99. C is the right answer. 
357. Got it? Please remember this. Next question. The appropriate design length of a clear way is calculated on the basis of normal takeoff condition. Take care of the conditions. Which one of the following option correctly depicts the length of clear way? None of the options are drawn to scale. Basically, that means ki this is not 10.5 meter and in that manner. Try to answer this question. This question was asked in gate also. Uh, condition is normal takeoff. Clear way should not be more than whatever I'm writing here, it is only and only true for standard take off conditions. Okay, it is not true for all the case. There is engine failure case also. Okay, so we are talking about normal take off condition over here. Tell me. One point five into takeoff distance. Minus one point one five into let off distance. Come on. So you can see uh, the takeoff distance is given to you as 1625 and let off distance is given to you as 10 point. No, it's given to you as how much? Let off or lift off, whatever, same thing. So it is 875, right? This value 875 is let off and takeoff is 1625. See how much it is coming? 1.5 times 1625 minus 1.15 into 875 uh, divided by 2. So that is coming as how much? Oh, I, sorry, I mistakenly wrote this 1.15. So 0 0.5 times of 1.15 into 1625 minus 1.15 into let off 875. 431.25 meter so 431.25 meter we are getting so uh, it should not be more than this clear way should not be more than this so here it is less than 432 meter so yeah greater than this grid uh, less than 2.4 so obviously which option is right here option a is the right answer 432 right i'm sorry for that options are not i think visible this was actually 875, this is 1625, this is 432, I mean less than 432, this is more than 244, this is less than 244, this is more than 432 and these are same, 875, 1625, 875, 1625, 875, 1625, all are same. Okay, that's how you are going to do this. Next question, evaluate taxiway radius for supersonic aircraft with wheelbase 20 meter tread of landing gear 12.3 uh, meter width of taxiway 25 meter speed of aircraft 100 kilometer per hour and coefficient of friction as 0.2 so you know there are uh, basically how much like three criteria right two are calculative one is standard for supersonic and subsonic so the number one is with the help of the coefficient of friction and all right so it should be how much r uh, i want right so v square upon 125 f put all the values velocity 100 kilometer per hour 100 square by 125 f 0.2 how much it is can you please tell me how much is the radius
हाउ मच इज द रेडियस इज इट फोर हंड्रेड थैंक यू फोर हंड्रेड मीटर गुड फोर हंड्रेड राइट नेक्स्ट इज पॉइंट थ्री एट एट डब्ल्यू स्क्वायर टी बाय टू माइनस एस सो हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ एस विल बी ट्रेड ऑफ लैंडिंग गेयर बाय टू प्लस सिक्स सो इट इज इज इट गिवन यस इट इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री बाय टू प्लस सिक्स हाउ मच इज दिस इट्स ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन फाइव मीटर कूल लेट्स पुट द वैल्यूज ओवर हियर In this expression, you will be getting how much? Point three eight eight into W value is square T is twenty five by two minus twelve point one five. How much? Radius four forty three point four three. Good. Four three meter. So we have to go for the maximum one. What is the value for supersonic aircraft? Can anyone tell me? Supersonic. Although answer we know, but still, what is the standard? Put in the comment box. If you don't know, then get it and let me know. Next question. Consider the following statement regarding airport lighting. एज लाइट्स आर प्रोवाइडेड एट अ स्पेस ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्सटी मीटर्स ऑल टैक्सी वे साइड लाइट आर ब्लू कलर लाइट्स ऑल द लाइट्स प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द रन वे आर व्हाइट कलर प्लीज आंसर एज लाइट्स आर प्रोवाइडेड एट अ स्पेसिंग ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्सटी मीटर All taxiway side lights are blue color lights. All the lights provided on the runway are white color. CCV. Uh, this is true. There is uh, there is sixty meter gapping. Sixty meter spacing is there standard. And obviously, yeah, taxiway side lights are actually blue in color. Yellow, ta? Check कर लेंगे. Right. It should be blue. and all the lights provided on the runway are white color please make sure where they are asking this is for taxi way this is for runway specifically the location is also important where we are using because the visibility uh, level of visibility which is required that is different in different component of the airport what shall be the coefficient of lateral friction for an exit taxi way if the design exceeds speed And radius of the taxi taxi way is hundred kilometer per hour and seven hundred meter per oh seven hundred meter and hundred kilometer per hour velocity given as hundred kilometer per hour and also radius given as seven hundred meter so how much is the f value runway का पता था सही है how much is the f value just now we have done thing uh, done this uh, formula Which goes something like this: radius is equals to v square by one twenty five f. Need to put the values here. F will be equals to velocity as hundred one twenty five f. No need. R is given. How much it is? Point one four four. Point one one four. Sorry. And I think that uh, sums up. the session of today's class yes yes uh now i have 15 more questions for you as assignment so today's pdf and yesterday's pdf will be given to you in the telegram group if you are not there in the telegram group then i'll quickly share the link of my telegram group in the chat so please join this and uh, you will be getting all these 30 questions in this telegram group kindly join this link i have given in the comment box you will be getting all these 15 extra questions which are there for your assignment theek hai apart from this 489 490 this will be 390 na 
राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एज यू ऑल नो वी आर गोइंग विद टॉप फाइव हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन सो आई थिंक वी आर डन विद थ्री नाइनटी क्वेश्चन राइट इन दिस सेशन वी आर डन विद थ्री नाइनटी राइट रिमेनिंग वन टेन आई थिंक आर ऑल्सो देयर विच विल बी गिवन बाय अदर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स अभी और सेशन है इसमें राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस फॉर्मुला मेमोरी टेस्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो अ यूनिक वे ऑफ रिमेम्बरिंग द फॉर्मुलाज एंड ऑल्सो रिवाइजिंग दैम फॉर ऑल द सब्जेक्ट इज गोइंग ऑन so you can watch uh, this also it only uh, is there on tuesday thursday and saturday so tomorrow i think the class should be there or maybe tomorrow it should not be i don't know but okay if it is there you can please watch thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in the next session till then you have to do two things for me as i always say first please take care of yourself and second please take care of your family thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day good night thank you thank you for joining please uh, join this telegram group so that you can get the pdf now you have 30 questions for your uh, assignment of high engineering and 30 already i have given you of fluid mechanics as well now